Dear friends, today the readings tell us we cannot serve two masters, God and wealth. We violate the first commandment when we give our possessions top priority in our lives. The first reading invites us to be like Solomon who chose wisdom as his first priority. But when he chose wisdom, he received everything else along with it. So to we, when we accept Jesus, the wisdom of God, we receive all the other blessings. The second reading reminds us that we are accountable before God as to how we use the blessings we have received from God. And in the Gospel today, Jesus teaches us that we should give God the first place in our lives, unlike the rich young man. We should not let wealth become an obstacle in following of Jesus and we should share our material possessions with the needy. This rich young man in the gospel came to Jesus in search of eternal life, wanted to be accepted by Jesus as a disciple on his terms. His tragedy was that he put his feet in two boats. He wanted his possessions and be a disciple of Jesus. Jesus tells him the condition for discipleship. Sell all that you have and give to the poor. The rich young man was a very good person but trapped by his possessions. Jesus realizes that and challenges him to share his riches with the poor. God must have the first priority in our lives. Jesus tells us that those who have made the kingdom of God their priority will be rewarded both in this life with earthly blessings combined with pains and suffering and in the next life with everlasting life. Dear friends, let us accept the challenge Jesus places before us give ourselves selflessly like Jesus and follow him on his terms. Lord Jesus, help me love you more than my friends, families, wealth and fame. Make me worthy of eternal life. Amen.